Zumbo was seated as first, and if everything goes as expected, he should be the one taking this tournament. Let's see if Jen will be able to do what he needs to do to stop that from happening. Yeah, the way Zom is playing tonight, I really do think Jen's the only one who would uh, stand in his way. So um, we're going to have to see. I, I feel like these guys do have a bit of a rivalry. I know on Twitter they've, uh, they've talked some smack to each other before, and I think they do go pretty back and forth. Uh, I know Jen is also a player who is really confident in the Rob matchup and has talked about it before. So I think this is just going to be a good set. I mean, this is a matchup that... You know, one of the biggest reasons why Rob actually got so much more popular, you know, A, it was because of quarantine uh, and the nature of online, but also Palu got nerfed a bunch. And this used to be one of Rob's worst, if not his absolute worst matchup. So even after those nerfs, it's it can be rough for the for the for the robot. The down throw right there. Oh not down throw, sorry, F throw right there. Oh, does he have a jump? doesn't he sniped the jump and that was huge all of a sudden this big lead the commanding presence that jen had been uh showing off right there he manages to even up the stock count which is very good but nonetheless oh boy he uh, an, a little bit of a buffer a lead would have been really good for him and he does not have access to that anymore Oh, that could have been the stock right there if Jen was antsy with the jump, and I think Jen might have tried to footstool. He got the phantom footstool regardless, though, which is really clever because that means that he can go down pretty deep regardless. He gets height no matter what, so. Ooh. Beautiful counter. Yeah, that, that had to have been a good chunk of percent because right here now, but Zamba just honestly kind of holding forward a bit. He's, he's really confident in where Jen's going to position himself. No way! Are you kidding me? This has got to be a frustrating way to die. At higher percents, your ledge of invincibility does go out sooner, and we saw it right there. Last, last hit of Arm Roader taking it. In a way, I think that was maybe a little bit of greed, because you can always roll up to maintain your invincibility. I think Jen was hoping to use his invincibility to wait it out and then maybe go for a down air or something like that. But that required him to be in that same space. And... Look at this. Oh, man. I blinked, and all of a sudden, that's a two stock. That, when did that last stock, yeah. <laughs> when did Jen take 100? That is the power of Rob right there. I, I, whenever you see a Rob do that, like, burner boost thing where he just, like, goes fly, and that's when you know they're feeling himself. Um, and Zamba just totally, uh, what a <laughs> demolish. A dem <laughs> what a good final stock. <laughs> Okay, game two, Jen experienced enough to not be super deterred by, like, kind of getting rolled over like that. Um, we're just going to have to see how he's going to change his game plan. Going to Town City is interesting right here because Rob already kills early off the side, but it just gets emphasized on the stage, so we'll have to see why Jen picked this. Um, hmm. I think maybe survivability on the top is one factor, that yes, Palutena does love to kill with her up air and her up smash, but in that stock, in that last game, I believe it was mostly uh, kills off the side, like with back throw and things like that. And on this stage, back throw is actually going to be a lot more threatening, considering how close the blast zone those side ledges are. Right here, just playing better regardless of the stage. What a clean stock. Having more room has actually been really good for Chan here. Oh, but as I say that, he's the one put on the ledge. Let's see if he's able to actually get out of there. That could have been it. The last hit of neutral or connecting actually is going to lead to all of this damage. 42% and possibly growing. Good neutral air from Zombo. Manages to get a little bit of stage positioning, but there's just this back and forth going on right now, and that's not a kind of back and forth you like if you're Zomba, because, yeah, right like that. Did not fall for the same trick that time. Just went for the neutral getup in order to maintain the invincibility, get back to the ledge, and unfortunately not really get much off of it, because that's another one of those juicy back airs managing to let Zomba even up the stock count. Yeah, these baggers are super on point for Zomba. It's such an interesting move to like throw out in neutral because obviously it is really slow, so you have to get a read on when uh, Jen's going to drop shield or jump. And Zomba's been on point with that, so if you have that much of a read, maybe you can get a good combo string going, but it does not matter when you get down to a bear. 
Yeah, and I will say that in terms of those back airs, one of the ways he's been landing them is off of his shield pressure. Where he'll like go for forward tilt, down tilt, jab, and then he runs back and does a back air. And the fact that move auto spaces around the grab uh, is actually really big. Oh! Speaking of grabs, man, every time Rob grab is actually one of the worst moves in the game, but Rob throws are incredible. Yeah, freaking incredible. Almost an understatement. One of the best set of throws, but wow. Okay, now, you know, Zamba going high right here, it doesn't mean too much for Jen because I think Jen's comfortable just holding center stage even if Zamba does fly. Oh, that recovery though! Oh, huh. The same kind of thing was happened in game one happened again where he was not going to get, yeah, all right, cleans it up there, but he was not going to get hit by side B, and then he started to get hit by side B. I think he dropped shield. Uh, but then kind of the move just, he fell out of it because Rob, you know, descended back down below the ledge. But, yeah, that game just felt totally different. Like, Jen would just take stage positioning. And I do think that Town and City did play a big part in it because of the fact that it's a stage that lets you do that more. There aren't these platforms that the opponent can retreat to so easily. Um, and it's a longer stage that lets you sort of you know, fade back more if you feel like that's what you need to do. And I'm speaking on that, on that big stage, Zamba, with this counter pick to small battlefield, totally agree with that. It just, um, it seemed like when Jen had plenty of time to regain center stage, it was just Zamba could not get this, like, super good momentum that he uh, had game one. So we're going to have to see what adjustment he makes, though. Nothing can save you from oh. Palutena up airs. I will say, it's it's a lot of damage, but you're Rob. You're used to taking 60 at the beginning of a game. Good. Good laser. Smart. Ooh. Trying to whiff punish that, uh, but the lasting hitbox is going to be clutch. And look at this. Raising the roof. Almost getting the full up tilt, which would have led to an up air. And maybe even a stock with bad GI. Oh, that was so good, reading the air dodge. Able to get a grab off of it, but now he's looking for the actual kill. How is he gonna find it? He does scooping him from so far away with that up air. Now all of a sudden, Jen can maybe play to a lead, possibly get some real distance in between him and Zomba. Back throwing, can you get this edge guard going? Oh, this might be an arm rotor. I think Jen knew uh, he was dead yeah. and just tried to get some chip damage with the explosive flame. Kind of like how Fox's laser while they fall to their death. Okay, here comes another one of those nice combos from uh, Jen. And still struggling to land. Oh boy, this is why this matchup has historically been so bad for Rob. That being said, a single overextension can really cost you. That back air was not well spaced. And all of a sudden, he eats 45%, 54. He almost died out right for it. Yeah, if Jen's DI was not on point in both the DI in both of those nares to mix it up, that would have been the stop. <laughs> Such clean stuff and good tech. On I'm not jump. sure if you saw his his fuel was actually pretty low right there. If that second up tilt had, or down tilt round, whoa! Jen was winning this game, I swear. He had the lead. What I know. Up? I know. It sounds like a lie because of what you know how things look right now. But okay, evening it up very good from Jen. Yeah. Well, like we were saying, what Palutena could do to Rob with those upper strings, Rob could do right back, and we saw Zamba do it right back. Even even though he didn't get the kill off that like ledge pressure, he still net 50%, which then ended up letting him get the stock later. Yeah, and this is like game three, last stock situation for both of these players. The pressure starting to mount. Jen trapped at the ledge. He lands on stage. I don't think he's going to die from that, but he's now taken about 76% and hasn't managed to find any way to get anything started for himself. Okay, there's the first neutral air. Let's see if it can possibly be some big damage. No, Zomba's just getting away with not eating that much, even when he's getting hit by combo starters. The DI on that up air. That could have been really bad. And once again, Jen at ledge going to for an high jump into a fair. Not an option we've seen all set, so really good to mix it up. Oh, I can't believe he kind of dropped that situation of maybe, you know, pressuring more with the tech, with the uh, missed tech. But instead, I like this maintaining stage control once more. An aggressive air dodge to get down to the ground. I'm trying to read DI, uh, uh, um, a roll in right there. That oh. DI! This can be so good for Jen. 
Oh no, that might be it though. He's off stage once more, so deep, and he gets sniped by the gyro. Wow. I feel like Zombie knows that he got really lucky right there. Um, yeah, just a little bit early on that down tilt to cover neutral get up, and just so barely the invincibility let Zombie get that I, back I, through. I feel like that down tilt was actually not meant to. Oh, he countered? Whoa, no, that was Uppy. That, that was, was up the start of Uppy. Yeah. That was the start of Uppy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That would have been. When been... does invinci Hold on a second. When does invincibility start? Not that very must have been early. Frame. I don't know. It feels like it had going for a while. What? No, that is. Is that counter or is that upy? No, that's upy. Are we sure? Yeah. That. Um. Oh, that is definitely upy. Okay. Yeah, you um, you are able if you can put out a hitbox or Lloyd and Palutena ends up being, she needs to go to that little like blue warping animation first before she has iframe. So you can definitely throw a gyro at it if you have a read on it. And Zamba, game three, last hit, able to take it. I think there's a chance Jen's gonna be looking for vengeance from the loser's bracket. I, I, oh yeah. I don't think he's happy about how he lost and I think he has the mentality to run it all the way back. I'm but, not looking forward to whoever has to ultimately me 